Hey guys, and welcome back to Back to Basics, where I take my lovely fiance Jessica here and teach her how to trade. So yeah, we are 30-ish in, we've lost count. So if you're just starting here, go all the way back. We are almost done. So we're getting to the point where this course is completed. So make sure you go back and take a look. And now we're going into kind of the nitty gritty when it comes to trade plan development and trade management and these type of things. Um, Cause you've already looked at how to determine trades based off pattern and candlestick and all this. And there's a certain amount that there's a limit to what can be taught. Eventually you're just gonna have to go. So this series in maybe another 10 episodes or so is gonna transform into uh, like a trade review thing where we're gonna look at what you trade it and why and maybe you know what you could do better and what you could improve on that type of thing. Go on, right, go start at the beginning, check it out, right? Basics of technicals, fundamentals, statistics is all on the, on the channels here. Speaking of, here's both of our channels. If you're seeing the episode here, Jess has the next one in line. And if you're seeing it on Jess's, I have more content related to trading and teaching trading and that type of thing for now for now well once you get cranking out that content we'll have a competition so we are talking about math i know math is your favorite subject as as much as it is mine um, yeah so I get real excited for that but all right this isn't it's not abstract math it's all going to be stuff that i'm going to point to a process when it comes to trading so this particular concept is going to be split into two episodes and the first one's going to be the theory behind why risk management is so important and then the next one's going to be kind of the practical application of risk management so here's a quote from jesse livermore which was a pen name wasn't a real guy but he wrote reminiscence of a stock operator which is you know one of our bibles as traders it was written like 60 years ago about a guy who used to dabble around in the market for fun became a really profitable trader and incredibly wealthy doing it and it was like his journey of ups and downs and all of this and it was great so i put the holy grail of trading because everyone's looking for the holy grail of trading sadly there isn't one but if there was close enough it would just be managing your risk it would be knowing uh, you know assuming that you're only going to be right on half your trades and we went through the law of large numbers when it came to you know even if you were right 90 percent of the time how often it was to get a bunch of runs against you kind of thing, right? All of the, what we're gonna cover in the next two episodes is gonna be about this concept, about the fact that if you never get above a 50-50 win rate, it doesn't matter. You can still make money, it just over the long run. So here's something interesting and a concept that we're gonna talk about, we're just gonna call R. And it's just annotated as the big letter R in, in trading. So R is essentially whatever your unit of risk is. You know, for example, if I'm risking $100 to make $200, I'm risking one R to make two R. And that's just the way, we, the way we describe it. But this curve is how much you would have to be right to break even given a certain risk reward ratio. If you are right to uh, 30, math comes out to 28% of the time, but you make 2.5 times, so if you're risking $100, you make $250 when you're right, you break even with a win rate of 28%. And that's kind of, I was hoping for more of a eye-opening moment because this is supposed to be <laughs> Sorry. like the biggest deal of trading. This is the thing that nobody talks about, but is, is everything is how, because everybody hunts for this win rate. Everybody hunts to see how, how high they can get on this graph where my argument is it doesn't matter. If you're somewhere between 50 and 60% and you can be out on this two-ish R, then you just make money over time. And I have some graphs that demonstrate that at the end here. This is in numbers, if it makes any sense, um, as opposed to a graph, right? If you're one-to-one, -one, you gotta be right half the time to break even. And this is assuming no commissions, which up here in Canada, Unfortunately, there is still the people in America get to trade for free, but not us, not yet, right? Two to one, you only have to be right 33%. Uh, one to three, you only got to be right 25% of the time, so on and so forth. And if you're right, if you make 20 times what you risk, then when you lose and you're wrong, you only have to be right 4% of the time. Like it's almost impossible to be right less than 4% of the time. You'd have to be trying really, really hard. 
and most people fail and i think you have a massive advantage of most traders just having this hammered into your head as much as i am i know i've talked about this in the past throughout a little bit but i wanted to dedicate some time on it because you would be shocked they say 90 percent of everyone who tries a trade fails 90 percent is pretty 80 90 percent is statistically studied enough that we know that's about true the reason i would say of that 90 percent 90 percent of those people lose money because they don't understand this because they're looking to be right more often they they bet way too large on single positions and they're just looking to be correct and that's all they care about and you can see even if you're right you know half of the time if you're only making one to one it doesn't make any sense and if you flip these right if you were right 66 percent of the time just to break even if you're losing 200 dollars for every 100 you're making right if you go to the other side you have to be right 95 percent of the time in order to make money with a 1 to 20 risk reward and it seems obvious because you've never traded before but i bet you and you can comment down below if it is myself and most new traders don't even really focus on this math for the first like two three years of their trading it's just trying to figure out what's going to happen next and sadly it has a lot to do with marketing there's very few people out there that will tell you that you'll never know most people want to say follow my system and i'll tell you i'll find you all the winners all the great picks and there's just they fall into those traps and you can see the math just doesn't work i don't understand okay so again all we're talking about is how there's two sides to any trading equation right so you're building a trading plan right and i say and i say okay how much are you right and you say i'm right 70 percent of the time when i build this trading plan okay that's great how do you know how right you are well that's what things like back testing is and you're when you're starting to you're kind of paper trading just plugging around for now but you're going to start um recording these trades i'm going to build a little spreadsheet you're going to write down here's where I, ticker here's where i got in here's where i got out and it will start to calculate these numbers for you and eventually you'll know your win rate right okay. and with your win rate you can start to adjust your risk reward because if you're very very accurate that's great you know that you're okay with like a 1 to 1.5 risk reward if you're not very accurate what i'm saying is by looking at this you can make up for that by trying yes. to make way more of your risk because you got to remember that and you've known this even by paper trading second you hit buy or sell nothing else to do right the rest is up to fate it's up to the market it's up to numbers so what i'm saying is that the thing the two things you can control is where do you enter and how much you risk mm -hmm. that's it everything else everything we have done on like these 50 episodes to now is to try to make it so that you're right 51 percent of the time that you're this much better than a coin flip so when you say like one to four right you're right once and wrong four times no no these are so the the two sides so on the the vertical axis here this is how much you're right right so you know this line here says 30 percent of, of your time. trades you are correct right okay. and then the other one is your risk reward remember we went over in the statistics course a couple weeks ago that's how much you make versus how much you lose that's right so a 2.5 risk reward would say I lose a hundred dollars but i go to make 250. okay right so i'm gonna buy apple here i'm gonna make sure i buy enough shares that if i get stopped out i lose a hundred dollars and i'm gonna try to make 250. okay and then just over and over show and over me the other page again again and this yeah this is a number breakdown of the same one so it's saying if you're right 50 percent of the time and wrong 50 percent of the time if you risk a hundred dollars to make a hundred dollars and you do that 50% of the time, you'll break even over the long run. So anything over that, like a 1.5 to 1, would be profit if you're right 50% of the time. Right? If you're right 33% of the time. What? Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> so these are two different things. One is the top one, the gray line, is how much you lose when you're wrong versus how much you make when you're right okay so a one-to-one -one, think of just translate just multiply all these numbers by 100. 
It's like saying I make a hundred when I'm right and I lose a hundred when I'm wrong. Okay. Right, a one to two That's would be brutal. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. This is this is trading. This is the most important part of trading. If you don't get this, you will not trade any live money. Like this is not. This is more important than charts. It's more important than candlesticks. More important than moving average. More important than all that is this right here, right? So this is basically saying if you um, make a hundred dollars when you're right, but you lose two hundred dollars when you're wrong, yes. you, right? You have to be right sixty six percent of the time, right? And if you flip that. If you make two hundred dollars when you're right and you lose one hundred dollars when you're wrong, you only have to be right one third of the time. Okay. Right, and then one one to three would say, I'm losing a hundred dollars when I'm wrong, but I'm making three hundred dollars oh, okay. when I'm right. I think I understand this right? now. And so on. So one to twenty would mean I lose a hundred dollars when I'm wrong and I make two K when I'm but right. But these numbers could be reversed. It could be like two to one. Right. Okay. All it right. Could be flipped. All right. right? So all this right, is just all right, showing. All right. All right. So then, what does this look like on the chart, right? And Trading View's got this pretty cool tool where uh, this number right here—it's a little bit hard to see, but that just says three point oh three, I think. In case you guys can't see it at home, is in this Trading View tool, you can just draw out this red area. So say I'm shorting this stock here. This is where my stop loss is up here, and this is where my profit target is down here. And so you can look at the chart and say, this box here is one third the size of this box here. So you can fit three of these boxes into mm -hmm. this box. And so that just shows you what that looks like and how when you're doing a trade, and this is kind of the point of this back to trading, is you gotta say, if I'm risking here, if I'm gonna buy this here or short this here, and I'm gonna put my stop loss above here, do I think it's probable that the stock can get all the way down here? And if so, that's a good trade. If not, it's not a good trade because you, you don't have that three to one risk reward, which is what's saving us from not being accurate that often. So this is a trade I'm actually in right now. It's not working fantastically, but I bought this stock, this workhorse group, right in this area, right where this line between the red and the green is, mm -hmm. right? My stop loss is down here. So then I look at it and I say, I think it could get up to maybe test these highs. So that's a five to one risk reward. So okay, now that yeah. I so now that I mark that out and I say, okay, because you see the setup, it's a it's yeah. a bull flag. Yep. There was a hammer here and a hammer here, and I you know how I like those for so I've done all of the technical work, and now what I'm adding is this thing that you have to do on the other end to say, is it probable? You don't know whether it's gonna happen, but you have to say, is it probable? that I will get over two, say two and a half, three, four, five times what I'm risking. If it is, then I know that if there's a 25% chance that I'm right here, if I keep doing that with a five to one risk reward, 25% right, you can see what happens. So if I'm right 25% of the time in this trade, but I have a five to one risk reward, then I'm profitable because anything on this side of the graph is profitable and anything on this side of the graph is a loss, right? So I'm pretty profitable. And then I think the last thing, and I hope this helped dig, dig you in, I did two of these and in, in Excel. So essentially all I did is I took a random number generator in Excel. So I said, either be a one or a zero randomly, right? Without me knowing what it was, it's all programmatic, right? And then I said, if, it produced a one, then make $200. And if it produced a zero, lose $100. So I basically, I randomly generated a thousand trades with a 50-50 win rate, right? Okay. And I said, make twice as much when you're right as you lose when you're wrong. And then I did it four times. So each of these are, is a random set of trading variables, right? To create a 50-50 win rate. And you can see with this 50-50 win rate, and two to one risk reward, this is your equity curve. So you start with $10,000 and a thousand trades later, you're at 60 grand at the best and you're at 55 at the worst. But you can see, even though these are random occurrences between 50% of the time, just completely random, all of them make money. As long as you stick with this, I'm gonna try to make twice as much as I lose mm -hmm. over and over and over again. 
And then I said, okay, well, what happens if I just up that? So now we're at a 2.5 risk reward, which just says make 250 when you're right and lose 100 with your wrong, still with that 50-50% chance. And you can see how much the chart grows. At the best case, you're up like 90 grand. And the worst case, you're still above 75 grand. So just by a very incremental increase in how much you make when you're right, keeping how much you lose the same, at a 50-50 win rate, you make a bunch more money. It's like 50% more money, right? Just this little, little tiny tweak compounded over and over and over again. That makes sense now? Ish. Right? It's just, it's just focusing on basically everything I've taught you should get you to a 50-50 win rate. If you trade with the trend, you, you take the patterns, you take the candlesticks, right? The, the real challenge is this, I'm going to risk X to make X, and I'm going to do that over and over and over and over and over again. And that's more of what we'll go over in the next one. So I know you don't like math, but you got to bear with me for one more. All right. Aye, aye, aye. So that was it for this one. Um, again, check us out here. Uh, give us a follow and a like. Any more questions? Or are you just excited to get to the next one that's all about math as well? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Talk to you guys soon.